Hello everybody, welcome back to Cheap Pass. This is episode 35 of the Monaco Grand Prix. Uh, in this episode, we are going to try to capitalize on the good work we did in the sprint race. We're going to try to do some stuff here in the race. I think uh, potentially I could find myself uh, using uh, Liam Lawson maybe as a pick. Keep some cars behind for Porsche. Porsche. We're going to be starting in 10th place. Uh, hopefully he's able to hang on there and uh, get us some points in this race because we have not found points in a minute. Yeah, we're going to be doing a soft hard compound strategy for um, car one and then car two Liam Lawson is going to be doing a medium hard compound strategy so that'll be the strategy for the race let's get into it the streets of Monte Carlo are ready as the drivers prepare for the 78 laps of the Monaco Grand Prix and Alex Albon will know just what kind of drive will be expected of him here we both know they won't be happy in P17 but we're also expecting to see them give it everything they've got and it'll be exciting to see just what will happen here today. It's time for one of the most exciting races in the world. This is the Monaco Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. Off the line, Porsche is still in 10th place. Got to make sure that we can get a good run here up against Carlos Sainz. We need to get ahead of Sainz and we do now find ourselves behind Valtteri Botas. We're going to turn on the ERS battle assist here for both drivers. Uh, Lawson is still in 15th place. We are going to also tell or share to go aggressive with overtakes here. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're just going to see what's going on here with these two. We're going to go neutral on the ERS here for Mr. Porsche. Um, Por Lawson got overtaken. That's not good. So we're going to put him on neutral. We're already going to put Lawson on to balanced here. Wait for the ERA or DRS to get enabled, which we just did. And we're going to tell our share to push. We can catch up here to Mr. Baltry Botas. Strategies Botas on. So everyone ahead of us is on different strategies, and Botas is actually on the hard. So we need to get by him quickly. Lawson's just by themselves. We're actually going to put them on standard. Share. Going to have a shot here going up the hill, it looks like. Maybe. No. Alright. Gonna have him harvest for a lap. We're not gaining anything on Botas. All right. Well, use up tires a little bit.
All right, there we go. And we're going to top up. We're going to let them uh, burn up some more of their tires. Let's run. Run away. All right, tires are heating up a little bit, so we're going to put them on standard. Uh, we left Lawson too long on the... Overtake there. Put them on neutral. Alrighty. So we're gonna put them on balance now on the fuel. As uh it's like Botas pit. No, Botas is just chilling. Right. Are we gonna be able to make it on fuel? Tell them to conserve just a little bit of fuel here. I'm going to deploy it a little bit. Just use up some of the battery and then go neutral. I'm going to tell Mr. Lawson to serve some fuel as well. Alright. For share, it has Mr. Carlos Science behind them. We're gonna push to see if we can get outside the uh, DRS zone here. We're gonna have to go top up and we can serve. They're just gonna probably pass us. You wanna tell them to defend? looking at the times here with uh that so it looks like our tire wear is not good i know we pushed a little bit but um we're uh backing up the uh field here all right so we need to pit this time to the hards and then we're going to not pit lawson we're gonna tell lawson to don't fight their teammate always defend <clears throat> we forgot to tell or share to pit even though I thought I did really stupid decision so he goes and he pits Let's go look here at Oh come on. Aggressive, we're gonna tell you back to balance on that. We're gonna tell yeah, we're gonna do that. Is that that is science.
Are we going to extend Lawson for as long as possible here? Basically do what Alonzo did. Tell him to push too. Alright, we're gonna look at Lawson here. We're gonna see what Lawson can do. In the long run, is he able to hold off? No, he doesn't hold off signs. That's the entire reason why he wanted you to do that. He lets buy Albon too. Alright, so we're gonna. Keep him out for a little bit longer. I'm on balance. Or share in 15th place right now. There's a safety car. Perfect time to pit. Give another set of hard compounds. Car. I'm going to put on mediums just to put on a set of tires here for both cars. We're gonna put poor share or blossom onto an old dear. That's Max Verstappen. Oh, Verstappen. We can sit here, we can conserve our stuff. Share comes out. Damn, poor share comes out fucking 18th. And everyone in front of us have fresh tire. Dang it. Ah. Is it more worth it to pit to put on these 92%? Oh, tires, we're going to do that. The reason why we're telling Lawson not to find his teammate is just because, I don't know. I'm going to tell him to find his teammate then. Alright. Back to standard. Alright. Um, what's the intervals here? Really, three seconds to Mick Schumacher. We're not gaining because everyone in front of us is on soft compound tires. Oh, it's a red flag. Oh, it's Russell and it's uh, Perez. Just like that, the hopes of the team start. Oh. 
Okay, so we need to think about strategy here. Um, we're gonna put the medium compounds on for both guys. Um, just because we need to put something different on. And we don't have any cards to put on the car. A sense of deja vu here as the drivers once again face the countdown. Hopefully Perez is damaged. And away we go. And Russell is out, so that means basically it's so loud. Basically, that means that everyone in front of us is, um, what's it looking like with the tires? Yeah, we should be able to make it on the soft compound, medium compound tires. Did someone hit the wall? And here, we've got a yellow flag. Good damage. So Lawson. I want to tell these guys to push, but I can't tell them to push. I need to just tell them to be on neutral. So we're going to put them on to neutral on the ERS, not the other thing. We're going to fast forward through here just for a minute. We're going to let them burn up their fuel here and just kind of ride. Let's see what's going on here. Lawson is losing time to Mick Schumacher in front. Why are we losing time to Mick Schumacher? We qualified 10th. Yeah, Porsche has got the 100% setup, so we need to prioritize him getting in front. be topping up too with him as well damn all right so we've got a bunch of cars to pass i don't even know if we're going to be able to do that just with the state of um the field at the moment all right we've got ers with mick schumacher in front we're going to go neutral just to see if we can get by them but it seems like there's a bit of a DRS train. So I think we're going to leave it and top, top up for a minute. All right, so Sonoda Pits. What's everyone look like with compounds? Yeah, everyone else is on the medium compound tire. So everyone else should be good to make it to the end. So we're in 15th place. All right, Mick Schumacher is... Outside of DRS range. Getting the inside. Come on. Never seen it before. Side by side at Monaco. All right, now we got a harvest. We got about almost eight, nine seconds now that have gotten taken up in front of us. Got to get ahead of these guys. I 
don't care if I'm going aggressive on my tires. I need to make something happen here. Got like no ERS here either. It's crazy. Got a brand new ERS unit in the car. We're gonna have him go light now. The Alphataris have just absolutely destroyed our race here. Let's see if we can go harvest for one more lap. Yeah, all right. Now we need to deploy so we can get away from uh, Piastri. All right, neutral. by freaking Magnuson here. Pass him on the outside. Come on. All right, so that's one. Yeah, we're almost like 16, 17 seconds off the points now. Ah, so frustrating. I'm going to tell Lawson to go deploy because you can see that he's also behind Magnuson. Make Schumacher still sticking with us. Get away. Go. Leave us alone. All right, Lawson's ahead of Magnuson. All right, I guess we got to use our tires now. We're like, God, we lost so much freaking time. That is unbelievable.
Are you kidding me? No. We're going to attack him back with vengeance. We just now are ahead of Magnus and we can kind of have him sit here and top up his stuff maybe. Yeah, and I think that's it for our race. I mean, we're like stuck. Ocon's in the lead to win the Monaco Grand Prix. These guys go light on their tires. We need Lawson to catch the Astri. So they're coming to three to go. We're going to micromanage Lawson now. It's such a shame, though. I mean, if we had finished, you know, the equivalent of 12th and 11th, we would have finished uh, in the points. Um, but no, we got held up so bad that we um, ended up finishing so much worse. We could head to Piastri here. Hopefully we can drag him out the straight there. Put him on top up. Unbalanced. balanced. Ocon. 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 Ocon, man, that's crazy. Good for him. All right, so we're going to sit here, and I think we're going to finish in 13th and 14th for the Grand Prix in Monaco. And that's another race done for Fernando Alonso. Yeah, just shy of a podium, but fourth is still a respectable finish. There's the Frenchman, Esteban Ocon, taking to the podium. And another added to his career tally. And that's win number one of the season. And it's sure to provide them with a real confidence boost. Esteban Ocon wins the Monaco Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton finishes in second, his first Ferrari podium. Leclerc gets on the third step of the podium. Alonso, Ricardo get fourth, fifth. Perez drops all the way down to sixth. Then Sainz, Botas, Norris, and Zhou Guan Yu. We finish in a very disappointing 13th and 14th. I know we only dropped down three positions from where we were, but with all the DNFs with Russell Verstappen, if we had finished, you know, within anywhere close to where we were running before uh, pit stops i feel like we would have been able to uh win or not win but get some points uh for the team which would have been very very helpful 
Your driver's standings, Verstappen, despite wrecking out of the race, is only four points off of Perez, who takes the lead in the driver's standings. Ocon now is third, Hamilton up three spots to fourth, Russell down four, Sainz up three, Gasly down one. Your constructor standings sees everybody in the top eight gain points this race. Red Bull only gained 23, but Ferrari are closing on Mercedes. Mercedes still holding on to their second place with 98 points. All right, so that concludes episode 35, the Monaco Grand Prix. I'm glad I'm disappointed to not get points, but to, you know, have the sprint and the Grand Prix not go our way uh, and us kind of get held up there and kind of get stuck was disappointing. Uh, I hope we're able to kind of pull some points out here, but we're already four rounds into a 15 round season. So clock is ticking. We need to bring some more upgrades quickly and uh, make sure that we're able to um, perform heading into Hungary. If y'all enjoyed that, like, comment, subscribe, all that dumb YouTube stuff. I hope you have a good rest of your day and peace.